gonna talk about bull riding really quick. I'm all up in the way. All up in someone's way. A little grumpy. Okay. One. It's been said that all Joshua does is scream and cuss. So 2020, no screaming, no cussing. All right, I'm just, I am gonna cuss. There's gonna be some cussing, but I won't be cussing at people. To the best of my ability, as best I can. How about that? Uh, when you're riding a bull, <clears throat> um, you get points for riding it well. Like, what does it look like? Does it look good? So we're saying Black Dragon Paranormal, we are definitely bull riders. We are riding the bull. Um, that means that you're competent. You're actually doing the work. You know, you're having manifestations. Things are connecting, like, is, is real and it's serious. You know, if you're just, you know, staring at a candle flame and it's like, oh, I'm connecting to Hakate right now. Oh, like, I don't know. You know, we, we would say, well, you're not really connecting. Um, the one encounter I had with that entity, uh, man, I mean, my chest is heaving. The, the room, actually, this is in Oklahoma when I had my little temple set up. It was just a room dedicated to spirits um, and, and spiritual things. Yeah, the whole room got hot. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was February, so it was cold. But I mean, this the room, the temperature got so hot, sweat was pouring from my head. Like literally, she like opened up hell. What do you, uh, the Greek hell or whatever, the place of fire, um, where the Christians got their concept of hell from. Um, one of them, and I just, just it was. It wasn't this calm, chill, like, thing. And don't get me wrong, a lot of these spirits, you know, there's chill vibes. Like, uh, when I first, first started, I'd have uh, several sigils of powerful entities all over my apartment walls. And the energy, when you would walk into the house, it, it was like day spa, like, just super, it, it was super naturally calm and peaceful. Um, but when you're connecting to these energies and connecting with the energy there's not going to be no calmness it's not it just it just doesn't work like that not in our experience and you know like man we're we're like gurgling we're ground we we sound like a warthog sorry that was hella annoying i stopped the video so. okay um i mean we sound like a a, a 300 pound warthog the snoring like <laughs> Like, you get them guttural sounds, like, you know, typical possession or whatever. Um, man, you start shaking, start heaving. It's hard to stand up, start blacking out, losing consciousness. Uh, eyes start rolling back your head. Like, you just start, like, growling, like, grinding your teeth. Like, oh, just, ah, like, you feel it. You feel it. You feel it. That's all I'm saying. So, what we're saying is we're really doing the work. All right. So, Black Dragon Paranormal. Many of you out there, there's a lot of you out there. Y'all are bull riders. You guys are riding the bull. Belial, one of my previous teachers, he was like, look, when you're working with Belial, you either ride the bull or the bull rides you. And it took a while. You know, there's times where the bull was riding me. You know, Belial, he's one of the toughest of the toughest of the toughest. One of the baddest of the baddest. And, and you know, now it's at the point where I'm riding the bull. But... So D demonologist Leon Wilkes, he's like, he, he's like, oh, you know, you, you guys claim that you can control demons and you can control spirits and no one can and blah, blah, blah. Anyone who's ever tried to control a demon has been annihilated. I've seen it. I bet you have. We're not controlling anything. When you're riding a bull, you're not controlling the bull. It's about motion, constant movement. You think you just strap in and sit in and you just buck around. No, no, that's how you get low points. Because that looks sloppy. That looks nasty. That's not how you score big high points. We're going to find a bull. I'm in Arizona. We're going to find a bull. I'm, I'm going to get on a bull. I'm going to show you how to, how to do it. I'm going to show you how, how we do that there. And when you hit the threshold, when the gate opens and the bull crosses over, where you were sitting, you're no longer sitting there. So if you, like... Oh, it's constant, continual change and motion. It's chaos. You're literally riding chaos. You're managing chaos. 
Now you get points, you get style points and you win championships by doing it in a dope fashion. You got the one hand out and you're just like leaning back, you're bucking with the bull, like you're just going with the motion and you're predicting, you're putting your body where you think that bull is going next so that you're riding in and out of those chaos waves, okay? You gotta think, you gotta plan, and it's you gotta know within a half a second where you're gonna put your body next, where your seat will be next, cause you're riding chaos, okay? We're bull riders, all right? That's what we do. We ride the bull.